Hey everybody, Mark Expect the Comics, and I'm back. This time with my new comic book day pickups and one really sweet back issue pickup for cheap. If you're interested in seeing what books I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. Alright everyone, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. So I picked up three books this week for New Comic Book Day and then one back issue bin, um, Small Key. So I'll show you what I picked up. I don't pick up um, New Comic Book Day stuff as much anymore like I used to. I don't have any polls or anything like that. Um, sometimes if I see if it's a decent week, I'll go to the shop and check it out. So I ended up driving over to uh, Laughing Shield Comic Shop in Atterboro. And uh, they had a few books I was interested in. There was one book in particular I wanted to see if they had because um, I thought that my son would be really interested in this book. And then, uh, you know, if I had about 5-10 minutes, I was going to dig through the the, um, the back issues. So, uh, everything this week was um, Marvel with the exception of the, um, the back issue book. So, uh, first book I picked up. It's Jeff. <laughs> Issue number one. Um, never heard of this character. I guess he's like Jeff the Land Shark. I believe he has some um, ties with like Deadpool or something like that. I'm not really sure. But I thought this was cute. And uh, if you see on there, it says all ages. Uh, this book's already been <laughs> pretty beat up. <laughs> uh, my son's gone through this already a few times. And he's actually popped one of the centerfolds. So I had to restaple it for him because he was uh, having a bit of a meltdown. But um, you go through it inside, and um, it's pretty cool. It's a uh, you know one of those uh, completely silent issues. You know, there's a few words here and there, but um, like he says, Jeffrey, that's his name. But uh, really cute character. Um, you know, the illustrations in here were fantastic. Told a really good story. Definitely uh, recommended if you have young kids to uh, pick this up. And uh, there was some cool stuff in there. And like I said, hi highly recommend it. This, even for the uh, $5.99 uh, uh, price. So if this is like an ongoing, I'm definitely going to, you know, just you know get a poll for for the little guy. So that's the first book. Second book. This one's for me. This is a um, little, little bit of a, a spec book. This is Avengers Beyond, issue number one. Really cool cover. This one was done by Greg Land. There was a few other covers there. I just took to the, um, this is the cover A, right? Yeah, cover A. And um, I got this more for um, uh, a spec play. And inside, I believe there was this um, first appearance on here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm just going to check this out real quick. And just me, you know, say if it was what I looked up was actually true. Because on uh, Key Collector, it said first full appearance of the Lost One, which is uh, an entity more powerful than the Beyonders. Now, if you know anything about uh, cosmic characters, the the Beyonders are a really, really powerful uh, set of characters in the you know in the Marvel cinematic not cinematic universe, but the Marvel universe. And, um, let's see if they're actually in here somewhere. So, to, to find out that there's this new character called the Lost One, which is more powerful than Beyonders, it really caught my eye. I like collecting, um, you know, some, like, OG powerful entities in the, uh, in the cosmos. So, I thought this would be a fun one to check out. Um, illustrations look pretty cool, too, as well. Yeah, but uh, I'll have to go through it and see. I was just quickly skimming through, didn't really find it, but I'll read it later. And then the last book I picked up, I'm actually gonna send this out to my buddy, to my buddy Jade. He's a huge uh, Venom collector, and uh, ended up the shop had one copy of this, and I had to pick this up. This is uh, so it's a Venom Lethal Protector issue number one. I think this is technically volume three now. Because I think they just had a recent uh, Venom Lethal Protector run. So uh, these um, Alex Ross 
timeless covers. I think they're a set of like villains coming out in the next few weeks. Um, but uh, this one was just gorgeous. So uh, I think he'll like this one as well. So I'll be sending that out his way. And then I uh, ended up um, picking up uh, one book. I dug through the uh, back issue bins there. He, The owner puts out some, um, you know, short boxes, long boxes from time to time for some cheap cheap books. Uh, sometimes they're Marvel, DC, Indies. And then he had three separate bins there for um, books to be filed, like, later. So they are going to be in, in future long boxes and stuff like that. So there was some Silver Age, you know, Bronze, Moderns. So there was one book there that caught my eye, and it was for 20 bucks. So I was like, all right, I'll pick this up for 20 bucks. And uh, I recently uh, picked up issue number one. I think it was uh, maybe late last year or early this year. I don't, I think it was late last year. And um, he had, I think, issues two and three there. And uh, I was more focused on issue number two. And uh, here's the book. So, New Gods, issue number two, from 1971, April 1971. This is the uh, first cover and second full appearance of Darkseid. And it's also the first team appearance of the Deep Six. Darkseid's a mercenary uh, force that respawn when killed. Also, the first appearance of Slig. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But, uh, yeah, 20 bucks. I was like, alright, I'll take it. Um, and I was like... If you're not familiar, New Gods is done by um, Jack Kirby. So the um, the cover art, the interiors, and the writing is all done by um, Jack Kirby. So uh, you can tell right from the cover art that it's very Kirby-esque. So uh, can't read. Uh, wait to read this. I've never read the uh, you no know, volume one. So uh, that's pretty cool. He also, I guess, is doing a raffle. So if you're local to, um, you know, Southeast Mass, Rhode Island area, and you've never stopped by the shop, if you spend a few bucks there, he does a raffle for, you know, from time to time. Sometimes he'll do like a raffle for a slab or a few books here and there. So this time he did a raffle for uh, tickets for Wicked Con. So uh, ended up getting a little raffle ticket. So uh, you got till I think the end of the week. And then he's going to raffle it off. So you got a chance to get a couple of tickets to WicketCon, which is, uh, I think, mid or late April. So uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick uh, new comic book day pickups. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. And until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.